Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Well, it's been a couple of days since my last video, I'm afraid. Um, entirely my fault. I forgot to charge my camera up and I couldn't find the charging cable because it was packed away in one of the many boxes since moving. So I spent the last couple of days emptying a few boxes, getting a few things put in the right place and found my cable, so I've charged my camera up. Um, I've just had a phone call a couple of hours ago from Joe over at Clever Motors, who firstly is getting on pretty well with the New Holland. Um, and he's also put me in touch with a local farmer, landowner, called Amos, who owns a, a little dairy farm a couple of miles in that direction over there. Uh, now, Amos is short of hay at the minute. Um, and one, one of the things I forgot to mention to you guys uh, in my last video was I also have a field of grass, which is part of my 74 and a half acres of land, uh, a few hundred yards down the road here on the right-hand side. Um, now that's just been left to its own devices over the last couple of years. It's a nice healthy crop of grass, I guess. Uh, and Amos has asked for my help. So he needs hay. I've got grass. Um, he has uh, a handful of equipment that he said I can use and he's going to pay me for the hay, obviously, and pay me for my time. Um, so we're going to go and uh, pay, him a, pay him a visit now, drive over there and have a look and, and say hello. Um, and I think that's what we may well get on with today. He's uh, He's got a forage wagon. Um, he's got a mower, which has it's, a, it's quite a fancy thing to be fair. It's a, it's got a big mower header on it with a, that has its own conditioner in as well, so it pretty much cuts the grass and dries it and turns it to hay. So we're gonna we're gonna run the mower for a few hours, cut the grass, um, and then transport the grass in the forage wagon over to his farm because he's got a fermenting silo, just so we can tip it straight in there. So sounds like we've got something to do today. So I'm gonna jump in the truck and go and say hello. So I'll see you over there. Well, here we are, everyone. This is Amos's farm. I'm assuming that's the fermenting silo that I'm going to be dumping all this grass into. Um, oh, a lovely little farm, though, eh? Oh, I love his bins. I think oh, they're similar to the ones I've got, aren't they? Steel Roscoe's, yeah. Well, let's jump out and we'll go and have a word with him. Go and find him first. Oh, I like that. That's a nice little case, isn't it? Lovely. Yep, let's go and find Amos, uh, have a chat with him, and we shall see what he wants us to do. Well, let's go and say hello to his cows, shall we, first, eh? Hello, cows. Yeah, he's got a few, hasn't he? Hello. <laughs> Think I'm going to be feeding you today. Right. Anyway, let's go find Amos and we'll see what we need to do. Well, there we go. We've just met Amos. What a lovely man. Um, so, yeah, he's going. he said he's going to pay me $670 per tonne for the hay. And he's also going to pay me for my time for doing it for him. Um, he's told me to go dig out the mower that's in here. So I can't miss it. It's bright yellow, apparently. So, oh yeah, there it is. Challenger thing. That looks pretty cool. So I'm going to drive this over to my field. We're going to cut the grass. And then we're going to come back. Then I'm going to bring this back. Take my truck back home. And we'll get into the T7 and come and pick up this crone uh, forage wagon. And then we're literally going to pick up all the grass that we mowed. Or the hay that has been conditioned by that mower and make multiple trips into this fermenting silo so busy day ahead guys let's jump into it and see you over at the field oh this is a pretty cool thing isn't it we're gonna have to be careful driving this on the road though it's got i think it's about 16 foot wide this header so let's be careful get it around here So yeah, I shall see you over at the field. I am grateful these roads are quite quiet, I must admit, because it's quite nerve-wracking driving down the street with this header. Look at that. Goodness me. Sorry, mate. And you. Well, here we are. My grass field. It's a pretty healthy crop, if I don't say so myself, can, all things considered. So, I think what we are going to do, we are going to get back in this mower, 
get this grass cut and start picking it up with the forage wagon and taking it over to his fermenting silo. So, no dilly-dallying. Let's jump in and get it done. Oh, this thing's awesome. It goes like the clappers. Runs at about 14 miles an hour on the straights. This is brilliant. We'll have this done in almost no time. But, no rush. We shall get this field done. And take this mower back over to Amos's and uh, go get the forage wagon picked up with the T7. So I'm going to put the camera down, get this job done, and I'll see you shortly. go guys let's, let's turn this off so I'm not talking over it eh? that was a pretty good job well done if I don't say so myself there's, a, there's quite a reasonable amount of swath going on here isn't it and what a great machine amazing so I think what we need to do now we need to get this back over to Amos's farm and we'll, we'll come home in the truck pick up the T7 go back for the forage trailer and come and pick this all up now that, it didn't take me too long, that was about 40-45 minutes to get this field done, so I'm quite proud of that. But I've got a funny feeling it's going to take a much longer time to get it all picked up and taken over to the fermenting silo. So, let's get to it and get this back over to Amos's. Okay, so here we are, back at Amos's farm, just about. We shall get this uh, swather, mower thing put away, where, back where we found it. I do like this little bridge he's got here. It's a very scenic little farm, this, isn't it? Really nice. So, yeah, we'll get this popped away back in the shed and we shall get ourselves home and come back with the with the T7. Oh, better be careful here, aren't I? Try and squeeze this back in here. Don't want to damage anything. There we go. There you up. That will do nicely. Okay, so, as I say, we'll get back in the truck, and we'll go pick up the T7. Right, here we are, back at the farm. We'll just, uh, we'll just dump this truck here, and we'll jump in the, in the T7, and go grab the forage wagon. Here we are. I suppose while I'm here, I've, I've, I've had a couple of ideas about the farm already. I know I've not done a great deal here, or I've only been here a couple of days, but um, this area of field, it's like a little island on its own, and it seems a bit daft. It's kind of separated by this little uh, little stream all the way around, and it's it's not very big. It's it's obviously this needs ploughing under anyway, because the this wheat's had it thoroughly withered. Um, but what I might do is I might build on this. I might use this area of land to build a couple of sheds and a bit of equipment because I know I need to... One of the things I need to get hold of is, is a jet washer um, so I can clean my tools. And I have been put in touch with a local guy who fits them uh, around here. And I'm not talking about one of these little drag-around ones with, with wheels that you can that you can put anywhere. I'm going to get one built in, like a, a proper big thing, um, plumbed in. So yeah, I am thinking I might uh, might do a bit of work on this plot of land here and, and just sacrifice the, the, the 
the arable part of it and just just level it and build on it and expand a bit of uh, a bit of the farm give, give me a bit more storage space um i'm fully aware i don't have a lot of equipment yet to need more storage space but hey come on who doesn't love another workshop or two so i'm gonna have a think about that and uh, get some quotes get some costs get some ideas figure out what uh, what would go there what would be suitable um so yeah watch this space so yeah let's uh where did i put it is it in here yeah there she is right let's get in this go and get the forage wagon and carry on Oh, it's good to get back, back behind the wheel of the tractor, isn't it? Spot of tractoring, as uh, as Mr. Clarkson so eloquently put it. I do love that show. Right. Anyway, camera down. While we're on the road, let's go get this forage wagon. Okay, here we are. Let's... Obviously remembering that the forage wagon was facing the other way, so I think we need to uh, reverse into it. Let's not... Careful not to drive on his crop there. Spin around. And get hooked up. Hey up. These deers are a bit suicidal, aren't they? That should do us. Jobs are good. Right, let's get this thing connected up. There is a lot of deer around here, isn't there? Where did you go? Huh. Ah. And the PTO. Job jobbed. It's a big trailer, this. There we are. Okay, so... As before, let's get back to the field and start our multiple journeys back and two. Well, here we are, guys. Back at the field again. Um, oh heck, I've only just realised how, uh, how little fuel's in this thing. Um, I'm sure we'll be right for the next couple of hours. Uh, we'll have to take a trip to the local gas station. But yeah, here we are. Let's get some foraging done. Well, this is working a treat. It is a beast, this tractor, so I knew it wouldn't struggle towing this... Uh, this forest trailer, but yeah. What a great thing. So, as before, I think I'm going to knuckle down and uh, throw a few hours at this field, because I'm going to be going back and two, back and two quite a lot now for the next couple of hours, so I won't bore you to death with that. So I'm going to pop the camera down again, and I'll catch up with you in a couple of hours when we are just about done. And I shall report back on how much we've shifted. So, Catch you in a bit. This could be a tidy little earner for my first proper earnings on the farm. Um, this forage wagon takes 2.7 tonnes. Um, so that's just over $1,800. Just for one, so far, just in this one trailer. And I've not even made it around the first headland, so... This could be quite good. 1800 bucks a shot. Brilliant. Let's see how much this earns.
Turn this off for a minute actually. Jump out. Yeah. Job done. I'm going to pick up all the bits that I've missed, of which there are many, uh, around the edges and stuff, and get these this fifth load taken over to the fermenting silo. Um I think we might have done alright from this job. Um as I say, six hundred and seventy dollars per ton. Um I haven't worked out the full tonnage yet, but we'll figure that out when we get over there. Uh, I'm going to clear up these last few bits. It's almost almost five loads totally. Um, we're just under a full load at the minute, so once I've picked up all the all the bits that I've missed, we might be almost a full load. So we'll get we will jump back in the tractor and see you over at Amos's. So I've just done a bit of basic maths on my way here and. It works out that I've just picked up 13.1 tonnes of hay for Amos. So, amazingly, that works out to be, uh, based on what he said, $670 per tonne. Hey, up, slow down, pick up. Um, $8,777 for the hay. So that's a, a pretty good number, considering it was a, for, for a few hours I was work this afternoon. Um, plus what he said, he obviously said he was going to pay me for my time as well, so I'll, we'll figure that one out together. Um, but I'm pretty proud of that, and that'll do for, for an afternoon's work. So, we'll go and get this, uh, this last load tipped into the fermentation silo, and we'll go and have a word with Amos. There we go. Last load emptied into the silo. Let's just take it carefully round here, it's a... Quite a tight little area around here, so don't want to knock into that. There's a lot of deer around here, isn't there? Yeah, last load tipped, and we'll pop in and see Amos. All right, we'll just uncouple this. There we go. So, let's go and see how much we've earned today.
Well, that's not so bad for an afternoon's work. 9,500 bucks is just settled at, which is pretty fair to me. That's 8,777 for the hay, and he rounded up to 9,500 for the day, so 723 bucks. That's what I've earned for me today. That's pretty decent, if you ask me, for a few hours' work. I'm more than happy with that. So, I think I do need to go and put some go go juice in this tractor because it's pretty empty. So, we're going to go and find the petrol station and I'll see you there shortly. There we are. Found the gas station. Let's see how much this uh, takes from the money I've just earned, eh? Well, there goes my earnings for the day. 420 litres of diesel. That's just cost me $578. So, from the $723 that Amos very kindly paid me for today's work, I have now got 145 left. Brilliant. But, had to be done. The tank was pretty empty on this thing, so hey-ho. So, let's get back to the farm. And... Yeah, figure out what to do from there. You know what, while we're up this neck of the woods, we'll just uh, take a quick trip over to Clever Motors again and go and see how they're getting on. Joe phoned me earlier but when I was out in the field just to say that the, uh, the 9082 is almost done. The turbo's been fitted, they've, they've found the bad earth, it was just down to a, a loose bolt. Um, but they're just waiting for the alternator to be uh, the new alternator to be delivered which should be arriving possibly tomorrow or the next day and then it's done um but he has said they've given it a wash for me so that's why i thought i'd just call in and, and have a quick look and see how it looks when it's not covered in dirt so i think we're we're almost here um and i suppose i'm gonna have to pay him for that as well aren't i i think that was going to be roughly about forty three hundred dollars i think to fix that um here we are. Oh, there it is. Oh, it looks cleaner from here already. Let's go have a look. That's nice, isn't it? Emco grain cart. There we are. Oh, look at that. Oh, they cleaned up the Mac as well. Looks like that might be getting ready to be shifted on to the next person. Oh, but check that out. Paintwork's not so bad underneath, is it? It's got a few scratches here and there, but... That's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Let's go and have a quick chat with... Oh, check that out. Looks even older than that. Versatile 935. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Oof. That's a big set of tyres. Very nice. Well, let's go speak to Joe anyway. See how he's getting on. Well, that was a nice conversation just had with Joe. Yep. Yeah, he's, uh, as I say, just waiting for the alternator to be delivered for the 9882. That should be here tomorrow, he reckons. And then... Get it fitted, it should be ready for collection the, roughly the day after. And the out, the total bill for that is $4,800, so that's pretty half decent. Um, now, I did also ask him for a price on this Landol that I was quite interested in when I first saw it the other day. Uh, he, he couldn't give me a price back then because they hadn't value, valued it. Um, it is a bit worn, but he reckons they want $60,530 for it. So... I think I might have that off him. I know it's uh, it's a world bigger than the little plough that I've got. Um, but I do need an excuse to keep that 9882, so I need something big to drag behind that. So, as daft as that might sound, I want it. And it's about the right colour as well. So, 60 and a half grand for that. That'll do. Um, yeah. So, I think... Well, that's not. I do need a cedar. That's blue as well. 
Yeah, there's a whole host of bits and bobs that I still need to get hold of. I need I need a cedar, obviously. Um, I need something to spread fertilizer and lime on my fields. Uh, what else? Um, I know the field that I ploughed the other day has pulled up a few uh, a few small rocks. Um, I'm not too bothered about that right now. Um, we'll cross that bridge when we have to. But anyway, for now, let's get back in the T7 and get ourselves back to the farm. Here we are, back at the shed. Let's let's get this thing parked up in here for for now. Here we go. That'll do nicely. That'll do nicely. That was a bit muckier than it was before. The hint of green. But yeah, I do need to get all my gear washed, don't I? I really need to get myself a jet washer. But, do everything in the right order. Let's get these doors shut. Now, I did see Max over in the field before. Where is that dog of mine? Well, it's been a pretty busy day so far. I know it's only mid afternoon, but I've still got a ton of stuff to get done in the house. There's so many boxes to get unpacked. Uh, so, I think I'm going to take advantage of the few hours I've got left of the afternoon and do a bit of unpacking. Where was he? There he is. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Max? No? Alright. You stay out there. Catch some birds or something, mate. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one.